When David McDonald's story was released on Friday night before Manchester United played Newcastle that Mourinho was going to be sacked regardless of the result, United fans thought, we've seen this before. We've seen it with David Moyes, we've seen it with Louis van Gaal. Here we go again. And for me, Gary Neville's reaction to this news when he found out about it summed up exactly how I felt. I think, to be honest with you Kelly, I'm furious. I'm furious going back three, four years ago when David Moyes was sacked, when it broke a day before, to journalists. I think of Louis van Gaal being sacked in the evening of a cup final and finding out from other people. I think about how the club's been operated. And what did other fans think inside Old Trafford the next day when Newcastle visited? Even when Man United were 2-0 down going into half-time? If fans were going to support either the Glazers or Ed Woodward or Jose Mourinho vocally inside Old Trafford that day, there was only going to be one winner. And that was Jose Mourinho, you know. Lots of United fans do want to see him replaced as manager. But he deserves better treatment than that. We've seen stories, as I said, of Van Howe and Moyers being sacked before either manager even knew about it. United are an appallingly run club. And it's about time somebody focused on that instead of the managers. Let's go back to the David Moyes era, only for a short little period of time. David Moyes found out he was going to be sacked as Manchester United manager in the press before the club had even let him know about it. And again, at the time, Gary Neville's reaction summed it up perfectly. Um, I don't like it. I said it last night on Monday Night Football that I think that the modern way is that leaks happen, that, um, but it's something that I still count myself as being a football person, being in that club for 20 odd years. I think it's something that United will have to review internally because, like they say, the last 15, 16 hours, or however long it's been, you know, I don't like it. It's not the way in which the club should portray itself. He had every right to be disappointed in terms of how Manchester United had acted in sacking David Moyes. If you're going to sack a man, let him know to his face. Don't leak something to the press and let them do your dirty work for you. It's not the way that any football club should act, and certainly not Manchester United. And Gary Neville was spot on to be angry and disappointed about that. And then you fast forward to Van Howe a couple of years later, and the same things happened again. It all started back in December when United had that dismal run of form, and Louis Van Howe came out in the press that he was going to be sacked. And this is what Van Howe had to say to the media in his press conference at that point. I will. I was already uh, sacked. I, I have uh, read. I has been sacked. My colleague was here already. What do you think that that uh, that happens with my wife? or with my kids, or with my grandchildren, or with the fans of Manchester United, or my friends. What do you think? The treatment, again, just like it was for David Moyes, for Louis van Gaal, was shocking. And then if you fast forward to when Louis van Gaal was sacked, he found out before the FA Cup final that he won for Manchester United, that he was going to be sacked as Manchester United manager. And he went on to say that it was one of the biggest disappointments of his career because Ed Woodward had given Van Howe his backing and said, look, you're safe. Only to then find out in the press that he's going to get the sack. How much of a spineless CEO have you got to be to not have the ability to front up and tell people the bad news? It's part and parcel of the job. But with David Moyes and Louis van Gaal, Ed Woodward has avoided that. United have built up an awful reputation over the last few years of just dealing with things in the wrong way completely. And certainly the sacking of Louis van Gaal and of David Moyes are two prime examples of that. And United didn't even change their tact between Moyes and Van Gaal. If anything, it got worse. So when the stories came out from David McDonnell about Jose Mourinho, Neville was absolutely spot on to be furious because it looked like the exact same thing was happening again. 
it reminded us all what United had done previously. And, and as I said, nothing had changed between Van Howe and David Moyes. Was nothing changing again between Van Howe and Jose Mourinho? Now, with Jose Mourinho, he was brought into the club with one intention only, to win things and to win things right now. And in his first year, we won the Europa League, we won the League Cup. In his second year, he finished 19 points behind an absolute anomaly of a Manchester City team that broke all the records. And then you fast forward to the third season where Ed Woodward decided, after giving Jose Mourinho a new contract in January, that he didn't back him as manager anymore. That Ed Woodward, the ex-accountant and now CEO of Manchester United, with zero football background, was the right man to make the footballing decisions at Manchester United. How has that been allowed? It completely undermined Jose Mourinho as United's manager. We had an awful pre-season because things were obviously going on behind the scenes that we've never really recovered from. And of course, Mourinho is not faultless in all of this. You know, he should have got more out of the players at his disposal at Manchester United. We've got a hell of a squad and we should be getting more out of them. He shouldn't have treated certain players as poorly as he has done and broken relationships which now seem untenable. And he has made plenty of mistakes along the way. But the reality is that United as a club have been in complete freefall since Fergie retired and David Gill left. We've replaced them with Ed Woodward and David Moyes. David Moyes is gone, the whole backroom staff went as well. Louis van Gaal came in, Ed Woodward remained. Louis van Gaal's gone, all his backroom staff has gone. Jose Mourinho's come in. Ed Woodward's remained. And now we find ourselves in a position where we can see the same thing happening again. But the green and gold scarves are coming back out at Manchester United right now. The anti-Glazer sentiment is really strong. Strong as, as it has been in a couple of years as far as I'm concerned. And the Glazers and Ed Woodward are right down the lens. United fans have been forced to make a choice between supporting the board or supporting Jose Mourinho. Now the reason that a lot of fans are singing Jose Mourinho's name is not because they absolutely 100% support Mourinho, it's because of the shambles that's going on behind the scenes. We're all acutely aware that the problems at United are rooted much deeper than the manager. So what's the point in chanting and for the manager to be sacked when you know full well that the next one comes in a couple of years down the line, you're, the same thing's gonna fucking happen again. Now Jose Mourinho is not the messiah. He never has been and he never will be. And nobody is saying he is, but the final curtain treatment of Louis van Gaal and David Moyes at Manchester United shows exactly why Jose Mourinho does deserve better treatment. Regardless of whether or not you want him to be replaced, it is about time that Manchester United as a football club bucked up their ideas and actually started operating as a football club.